Hey, what up guys? It's your boy Bet on me with some more Destiny 2 content. Hey, got another great video for you guys today regarding one of the best PvP builds that I've played with this season. And to be honest with you, this is the most broken build I have used in season 10. Hey, but right before we get into it, if you like great Destiny 2 uh, content regarding PvP and PvE, weapon reviews, how-to videos, subclass builds, Destiny 2 news, great gameplay, and a little bit of Destiny 1, this is definitely the channel for you. So go ahead and click that sub and notification bell. But if not you guys watching this is enough me and i appreciate the support now to me source is the most broken gun currently right now in destiny 2 it has real great ttk but then it has the source legacy the bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health on kill and I have the Surus Catalyst, which makes this weapon even more broken because it has the perk increased chance for kills to regen health. So basically with this Catalyst, one out of every two or one out of every three kills that you get will regenerate your health, which makes it to where you can just get in so many gunfights and kill so many people. I really love this trait. And if you need to know how to get the Surus Catalyst, here is a link to that video. It will show you how to get it and it will also show you how to rank it up properly. Next we're using the Broken Fell Winner's Lie, which this is one of the rare guns in Destiny 2 where the curated role is actually a god role. So it has the trait Slide Shot. Slide and partially reloads this weapon magazine and temporarily boosts range and stability, which ranges everything when it comes to shotguns. Some people like to use Quick Draw, but I like to use Sprint Grip Mods, so it pretty much does the exact same thing for the most part. And then next, I really love to use Opening Shot because it improves the accuracy and the range on the opening shot of attack. So look at that, that's basically four traits. I get improved accuracy, I get improved range, I get a boost to stability, and I get a boost to my range using these two traits. This makes this gun just so amazing to use. Then you have the broken one-eyed mask, which is just amazing. For some reason, this thing just keep getting nerfed, but it just keep coming back stronger. Sort of remind me of like Jason Voorhees or Freddy Krueger. <laughs> so it has the perk vengeance it highlights the enemy who dares to damage you you track them down and you destroy your enemy and you get an overshield so this is like real crazy to use you pair this with Surus regime health rebuild and this is just like the ultimate weapon for destroying guardians and crucibles it's just unfair and I'm using broken mods like powerful friends. When you become charged with light, your allies also become charged with light if they're not, and it adds 20 plus mobility, which is crazy. And this thing is supposed to get nerfed next season. And to just take it over the top, I'm using high energy fire broken mod. Uh, while charged with light, gain a bonus to your weapon damage, which this is just unfair. And you could get all these from Banshee at the tower. All right, so let's get into some gameplay so I can just show you guys how this combo wreck guardians and crucible. Strength in numbers, guys. Two for one. What can stop you? Titans like you, I can build all seven columns and shake the pillars to their core. Keep falling behind. Shut the enemy down. One. 
with you on the field, there is an order I could not push, Titan. Thirty seconds remaining. On your shoulders, and still you triumph. Marvelous. <laughs>